Well, Lee Harder with you, TMD editor. Some headlines for this day. The plans to have Orangeburg, the city, move into a new city hall in the old bank building at Russell and Broughton, at least temporarily, are on hold. Uh, the council has some concerns about the projected uh, $10 million cost of the project, which would involve not only preparing that building for use by uh, the city officials for offices and as city hall, but, it, but as well as renovating the uh, at least the front portion of Stevenson Auditorium in the current city hall to create a reception area for Stevenson Auditorium. So keep an eye out on that. They uh, council tabled a motion to move forward on that at least until the next meeting. South Carolina State University uh, in a vigil yesterday remembering a student and an alum lost in a horrible traffic uh, crash uh, last Friday. Uh, we continue to keep you up to date on that. An arrest has been made in that uh, accident. Um, today, we are bringing you news, that, incredibly, of a second local person killed in New Orleans during Mardi, Mardi Gras. 33-year-old Orangeburg man apparently uh, died in a crossfire in, in some sort of shooting that um, seemingly, at least from reports, uh, he simply was at his car and, again, caught in the crossfire. The uh, South Carolina House has done something unusual, voted unanimously on anything these days, that's news, is not not, to create a two-week early voting period in South Carolina. In other words, uh, early voting will become reality. You will not have to have an excuse to vote absentee. You can go to a particular site and vote um, as an early voter. Uh, we are looking ahead to with previewing, we did it so with Denmark Oler this morning, we'll be previewing the other uh, state title basketball games. Interesting column today by Thomas Grant, uh, but all the Orangeburg and t and region connections to these championships, not only just in games with local teams, but in games with other teams that are featuring folks who used to be involved with local teams. Take a look at that today. We think you'll find it interesting. Uh, you'll also note today that we've got um, five different high school players signing to play on the collegiate level. There's a roundup of that you'll find at the tnd.com where we urge you again to go over and become a member. It's well worth your investment in local news. Have a good day.